the average kinetic energy of a molecule in a gas at a certain temperature is actually a pretty straightforward calculation. The formula is that the average kinetic energy is 3 halves times K, which is a constant, times the temperature in Kelvin. Now, kinetic energy is measured in joules. That's related to the unit of K. All you're going to have to do is figure out what the temperature is. If you're given your temperature in Celsius, don't forget you'll have to convert it to Kelvin. Most teachers say you add 273.15 to make that happen. That happens to give me, whoops, 300. 0.15, and so I'm just going to plug these numbers into the formula. 3 halves times the Boltzmann constant, 1.38065, or whatever precision your teacher gave you. That's joules for every Kelvin of temperature. And then you multiply it by 300.15 Kelvin. Note that the units of Kelvin and per Kelvin cancel each other out, we're going to be left with an answer in joules. That's exactly what we want. Let's do this together. I got 3 halves times 1.38065 times 10 to the power of negative 23 and times that by the Kelvin temperature 300.15. My answer is 6.8. 216 times 10 to the negative 21, and the units are joules. It's a tiny number of joules, but how much energy do you expect a single molecule to have? I don't know, a small amount, right? Now, in terms of uh, significant figures, this had no decimal places. So the 300, it was only three sig figs here. This was uh, six significant figures, and these are exact. So I need to round this to three significant figures. I guess the answer is 6.22 times 10 to the t negative 21 joules. There you go. If you happen to have been asked for the total kinetic energy of a mole of molecules, you can just multiply that by Avogadro's number. But that's not what this question asked for, so why would I? Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.